Uh, welcome, Tony Christie. It's a real pleasure and honor to have you joining us here for the masterclass. Uh, you know, one of the more complicated patterns to create is the triple spiral, but I feel like it's a really energetic pattern and, and uh, unique in some ways, but also uh, connects to the archetype. And so I wanted to uh, invite you here to share, you know, as one of the creators of this design, you know, your inspiration for this labyrinth and uh, how you have been uh, bringing it into the world. So thank you for joining us, Tony. Uh, thank you for the invitation, Lars. It's a pleasure and a, an honor to be part of this. Um, yeah, the triple spiral, I suppose, being being from Ireland and being Irish, it kind of resonates quite a bit with me. And um, working with labyrinths and when talking to people here about labyrinths, um, one of the questions I was very frequently asked was, um, is the spirals at Newgrange, are they labyrinths? And, and then I went looking to see if there were, and there are actually three spir triple spirals at Newgrange, one on this large portal stone. That's about 10 feet wide and four feet tall. So it's wow. quite a large carving. Yeah. And then in the narrow passageway, there's, there's a bend in it. So the light doesn't go straight through the passage. There's a small one, maybe, oh, six to 12 inches tall on the left hand side. And then there's one at the very back wall of the chamber that the, when the sunlight comes through this, um, uh, the, what's that called? The roof box, you know, the, oh, okay, up here. Yeah. up here at winter solstice sunrise. The sun, the rising sun comes through there, even 5,000 years after it was created. And it lights up the, the passageway, first of all, and it, it, it appears to move in the passageway and then illuminate the chamber at, at the back. And, wow. and it, it, it lights up an, uh, another triple spiral at the back. And the three triple spirals are slightly different. Hmm. Um, the one at the back is similar to this one that you can see on the portal stone. The one on the left on the inside actually has a, a lozenge, a triangular shape in the middle of the three spirals so it's there aren't that many pictures of that one for maybe um, obvious reasons because people going in and out or ushered in and out and they they don't stop halfway through or they didn't they miss it so so i started playing around with when seeing when i found it wasn't a labyrinth that you can't follow the path through that there are dead ends or some of them as yeah. you can see there are some places where the path just doesn't continue so i thought it would be a nice idea to um molded into a labyrinth and I um, some of my labyrinth designs were from a tin I was a public servant for many years and attended boring meetings and I'd be doodling trying to uh, <laughs> make 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 new labyrinths or make a labyrinth out of Newgrange when I was bored you know so ah. so eventually I eventually I came up with a very freestyle one which looked like um, well I made it even more Irish I put it in the shape of a shamrock you know so um, and that was really the one of the first ones that um, that I had, and it was very, very freestyle. And um, I used it, I had a, my original website was Labyrinth Ireland, which <laughs> actually got accidentally um, discontinued this year. I, in, in the middle of all having email problems, I forgot to renew it, but, uh. um, and, and so this is very freestyle. And I actually placed one of these at a TLS gathering in, New Braunfels in Texas, yeah, in 2006. Yeah. So I placed it. Now it took it took quite a while to do that because it's partly freestyle and there's no real um, <laughs> there's no Process. methodology really doing yeah. it. It's it's art. It's art rather than anything geometric. And interestingly, I had a comment book um, at the entrance of that, and even people who were experienced labyrinth walk walkers would have came to me afterwards and said. Um, Actually, we found it quite interesting because we, we, when we got to the centre, we didn't know what to do, you know, whereas with the traditional labyrinths, the classical and the chart one, we knew we were at the centre and we, they were quite um, somewhat disoriented because it's, it's quite a different experience walking a triple spiral in comparison to, you know, the classical one or the chart one or even Baltic yeah. ones. So, um, and then, of course, people ask me, well, how do we recreate this? So I had to, I suppose, simplify it somewhat and make it more geometric and start it again. Um, so this yeah, is the more geometric the version? This is the more geometric version, yeah. And I, I, I obviously, 
worked out <laughs> somewhere. It, again, it took a little bit of working out how to do that or how to share this. And uh, this one was in um, the TLS gathering in Hudson, Wisconsin. Gosh, I'm not 100% sure what year that was. Uh, <laughs> somebody else might remember that, you know, but I remember Lisa, it was very near Lisa Moriarty's, you know, and I hadn't planned, I didn't bring any build, labyrinth building materials with me. And, and Lisa says, are you going to make your triple spiral labyrinth? And she got Denny to go off to the local Home, Home Depot or whatever it was to buy green paint so I could wow. spray a pattern on the ground. Great. And uh, that, fo that photograph was taken by, or the, by um, Warren Lynn, who took three pictures of this one person walking the labyrinth and then photoshopped them together. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's great. Um, there's, I also was um, creating my labyrinth wisdom cards at the time and doing my own art for, well, let me go back a bit. So this is, and I don't know how well you can see this, a, a, oh yeah, a larger version of the triple spiral one. You know, there's a lot more spirals in it. And this is, um, I, I have it in the unity card. Um, uh -huh. my, my interpretation of unity being the three things that it come in threes coming together as one. So, mm -hmm. and that for me is how I would see the, um, the triple spiral. So that, yeah, that's, that's the car there. Yeah. Um, people obviously ask what the, um, the meaning of it is and, and sure. Well, originally who knows, you know, hmm. there, there is one theory that is not very well known that, that, you know, this, the, the it, new brain had a lot to do with creation and that the, the whole sound of the, the whole mound at new Grange and the, um, some of the practice that they were doing was replicating creation because it was the male, you know, somersaults the sun penetrating into this, the female earth, mother earth mound, you wow. know, so it was very symbolic of procreation, you know. So initially I would have seen the three spirals as birth, death and rebirth. And, and again, I've had some wonderful comments back of people, particularly from that gathering in, in Texas, where they said they could actually feel themselves growing as they walked the first spiral and then could feel even sadness and different, you know, death type emotions letting go. And the second one and the third one was more joyful and joyous. So, um, again, uh, as you know, every labyrinth and every labyrinth walk is, is different for everybody, you know, but there there seem to be... Um, you know, the energy of birth, death and rebirth. But mm -hmm. I see it as everything that comes in threes. So whether it's past, present and future, thought, word and deed, mind, body, spirit. Or, and even some people would say it's the symbol of um, the goddess or the triple goddess, you know, the virgin mother crone. And, you know, you can Christianize it as well, you know. So yeah. um, the, the interesting thing about Newgrange is that Newgrange was built maybe 3,200 BC, so 5,000 years ago. Wow. And, 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 and people will say that this, the symbols are Celtic, but the Celts didn't come to Ireland until 500 BC, which was oh. kind of two and, a half, two and a half thousand years after Newgrange. Now, whether the Celts put the symbols there when they came or not, <laughs> nobody, nobody knows. So, um, and the spirals are, they're Archimedean, Archimedean spirals, so they're not Fibonacci spirals. In an Archimedean spiral, they're the distance between each each one is they're equidistant. You know, it doesn't expand out. You know, they're so the 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 width of the path on the very inner one is the same as the width of the path on the outer one. Yeah, and yeah. it appears yeah. in the Roman um, mosaics as well. This idea of using this would be a quadruple yeah. double spiral in a square form. So you know yes. that this. Could yeah. be an ancient, well, semi-ancient with the Romans, but a uh, labyrinth uh, yeah. design. Mm. Yeah, yeah, where you spiral, you you go in and out of each quadrant in, in, in the Roman one, you know, so, yeah. Um, I, and one and of the looked, first versions that I saw of this was, was this, that I was just downloading, you know, 10 years ago, looking for labyrinths online. I, I downloaded this yeah. one, but... Um, mm. It, yeah, I mean, I, I had seen that and I think I maybe had seen it at the time I started trying to come up with my version and what 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 didn't seem to flow with me was there's a, a slight little dead end at the start, you know, you kind of go in and you have a sharp turn left, yeah. there if you're looking at it the same way as me and I thought, no, there must be a more fluid way of, of, of creating a, a triple spiral, so yeah, this would be like a, 
a mirror image of of um the one I came up with, I think, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, when I so, saw that version that you had created with the yeah. with the uh, immersive entrance where you, you arrive and you go in, you know, you mm. just flow right in. The energy just goes so much better into this Ooh, labyrinth yeah. this way. Yeah. I, I got the shivers there. I can feel the energy of it as <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're moving the cursor through it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 there it goes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's really so, um, powerful. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and uh, as I said, I eventually came up with a methodology of, of creating this that could be replicated, I suppose, is the best way. And, and again, it took a little while, but and this is me in, in Australia in 2016 in Donimal Hearn has a place in the Blue Mountains. Actually, called, the area is called the Blue, Blue Labyrinth, which is an, a really intriguing. You know, it's called the Blue Labyrinth Bush Retreat. And, yeah. and she already had a shark labyrinth. And she wanted a, the triple spiral labyrinth created. So, and as you can see, there's a little tree in the middle. She says, can you work around the tree? So that was uh, another interesting <laughs> An labyrinth challenge. maker's <laughs> challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do we put it and where do we put the entrance? And you can see with the tires, they had, they had built it up to get a, a somewhat level area to work with. Yeah. So, and, and you really, you just work from, it's, it's a series of semicircles or parts most of them is lines are semicircles or they're part semicircle lines so um i think this was a labyrinth i think we had a labyrinth uh design and labyrinth making day i think we made a triple spiral labyrinth that day um the plan was to have big stones but they never arrived so we had to go around gathering pebbles <laughs> as you can see the stones are a bit smaller than what we finished up with or what it finished up with so yeah. Yeah, and, and I read on Facebook see. at first you were going to spray paint the design, but then the spray paint wasn't sticking to the wood chips, and so. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. Um, it was just dust. So when we sprayed it, it just blew everything, the dust everywhere, you know. So the ground there yeah. in Australia was quite. So you dusty, also had the, you know? That's a true sign of a master labyrinth maker is being able to adapt. <laughs> you know, you got the tree <laughs> yeah. in the center. You got the spray paint yeah. blowing off the dust. You know, you, mm. you the the stones didn't arrive. It's like a classic <laughs> labyrinth making story. Yeah, <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah. You just kind of you just have to get on with it. You know, we we ended up putting the tree. I think just to the right of the entrance, almost like a garden at the entrance. Yeah, you can I see think. it over here. You can see it there. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. That looks that looks okay there now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Again, uh, again. I was getting people as involved as much as possible. You know, as it's, it's it's how they learn really. You know themselves. So I think we put a pausing stone at the start there as well. You know, and a similar one at the center just to. I think maybe maybe in, in um, remembrance of the people in in texas who, who didn't know what to do at the center we we, ah. we made sure they knew they were at the center when they hit the stone <laughs> yeah. Great. well yeah. that's really fascinating yeah so you took that information from texas like a test you had the temporary yeah. labyrinth as kind of like a, a trial run and then yeah. that informed your creation yeah. of this yeah 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 so um and then i've done a number of ones since i mean i've made finger ones these are resin plaques that I make you know just yeah so this is this is a finger one that you can trace it's made of resin it's actually organite which is helps reduce EMF as well you know so I think they might be up on my website no I only start doing these recently you know so it's um that's great um, yeah so that, people can pick was, up a finger yeah, triple yeah. triple so, double um, spiral finger labyrinth yeah and a little hook on the back you can hang it on your, your wall if you want <laughs> yeah so yeah, so um, I've made a number, I don't know how many I have made, I've made a number of temporary ones, obviously, and even when we were in Tasmania, we made an ad hoc one on the, on the beach, you know, just as you do with labyrinths on the beach, so uh -huh. um, I, I did make a very interesting one in, um, in a private garden in Dublin, it's a kind of a, it's actually in a walled garden of a, of a large house, you know, and it was... Um, the lady there wanted, yeah, the triple spiral there. And that that's just the, the subsurface, you know, the compacted gravel or hardcore, whatever. You probably have different names from yeah. over there in the US. But the interesting thing here, the, the two guys there are the guys who were obviously two workmen, you know, landscapers. And uh, as I was painting the, the pattern on the ground, um, when the, the moment I did the last line to join it on, it was like this blast of energy came down and I went, whoa. <laughs> and the two of them were looking at me saying, what was that? You know, what happened? And I was trying to explain to them. I think they're still looking at me as if I have two heads, but there's a, there's a, lo 
a wonderful energy with this labyrinth as well. It's different from the other ones, you know, that, but it has its own energy. So it was kind of a, an affirmation for me that, um, yeah, these labyrinths are, are, you know, helping people and helping the planet and mm. so on, you know, so they're certainly worth, worth making and they're another alternative. Yeah. And they, the landscaper, he was a, an award-winning landscaper, but they, they, they thought it would be nice to have three lines of bricks in each of the ah. lines, you know, so just to, in keeping with the, the triple you can see here, you know, and um, so there's three lines of bricks, which kind of sets it out, sets it out nicely. And then they had to, yeah, when, when all the bricks were done, I mean, it fair, it's a very nice job in fairness to the, the, the builders. I was consulting, I suppose, and making sure they were doing everything right on it rather than doing the donkey work, as they say. And this <laughs> is it with the, with the grass in, it's just, Oh, the the lady was just overjoyed with with the whole thing. You know, it's it's. Well, you sell a um a written instruction, which is actually something that I purchased maybe four years ago because I created a double spiral at a school, and so if yes. people are interested yes. in having a step by step written instruction, then I'll I'll send them to your website where they can purchase that. Oh, that. Thank you. Yeah, and I kind of I usually keep in touch with people in case they need any help, but. Very, I don't think anyone has come back to me, <laughs> so they must, they must be able to follow the instructions. You know? Yeah, oh, it's great. Yeah, well, this is the, this is the yeah. one that I created at the school. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And again, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I had the students paint yeah. the, I chalked the design and then the students oh, wow. painted the, the pattern. That's brick, brick there. Yeah, yeah. That's really dramatic, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, there's something, yeah, yeah. I, I just love looking at it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a bit uh, drawn in there to that, you know, which I suppose is a sign of a good labyrinth, made labyrinth, you know, <laughs> it drew me in. I stopped talking. Yeah. Yeah. So any parting words about the triple spiral that you'd like to share in terms of, you know, is there a certain like uh, energy or, or, you know, we talked about unity, but, you know, in terms of like a setting or a, a you know, like schools or hospitals or art centers or, or people, you know, I guess it, it can be, it can work for everybody, but is there, is there a particular, uh, you know, setting or, or community that you feel like it's best suited toward? No, I think, I mean, most of the time when I'm making labyrinths, I actually tune into the land and the energy of the space, you know, so if that's the right labyrinth for there, you'll know and people will know it's the right one, you know, so, um, uh -huh. It, and it may or may not always be, you know, so there's no, um, I don't necessarily favor it over the classical one or the chart one or derivations of the chart one. I think it's, it's really either the, if the person is, if it's on private property and that's what the person wants, well then, you know, that's, yeah. they, they know that people generally know if that's what they want, actually, yeah. you know, because I would often, you know, people consult with me, I would send them a series of designs, you know, five circuit, seven circuit 11 circuit and, and and this one and they'll and other ones even and they will say either they do want it or they don't want it so i think it's it's something i think it resonates with the person who is you know responsible for putting it there or on whose property it's going that they will know if that's for them or not so i would think it's not mental certainly it's either in the heart or it's something bigger or it reminds them or it of something either in, in their past or the long lost past or um mm. but it's certainly yeah i think the the whole you the, every, the things that come in trees the triads you know that there's you know three is the number of manifestation as well so it can have that kind of a a meaning for people that that this is something that just resonates with me and and that's what I want to, you know, yeah. So, so I would say go for it, you know, um, you know, and, and play and people, you know, I give people the freedom to play around with it and come up with their own variations. You know, it's like, as you know yourself, you know, you sow the seed and then people, you know, somebody else takes it somewhere else or, you know, they make a quadruple spiral labyrinth or whatever. So, yeah, so, yeah just, and just in, in, enjoy it, you know, because yeah good fun well yeah. thank you tony yeah. thank you for sharing your your insight and and your experience with this design and uh and thank you for your openness and sharing it with the world and allowing people to to make it their own and adapt it and 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 create labyrinths wherever they are with this yeah. pattern so 
really appreciate you joining us for here yeah. for the summer, the summer school masterclass and uh, bye-bye.